if you still join now, I'll, I'll beat you. I'll beat you join now. So we are just about to watch creepy men caught on camera. For some reason, for generations on end, men have always felt entitled to the bodies of women, dictating to them what to wear, whom they should have sex with, entirely feeling like they own their bodies. We will be watching a variety of videos stemming from behaviors like catcalling that has been normalized by men to other unacceptable, I must say, shocking behaviors of men captured on camera from around the world. It might surprise you to know that this video shows a very common occurrence in buses typically called trotro in Ghana. Men often inappropriately touch, fondle and in some cases finger female passengers they sit next to. The main target of these men are often teenagers they easily pick out because of the uniforms they wear. In this particular incident, when the passenger reported the man's actions, other passengers in the car thought she was overreacting, so she took to social media. The one we are looking at are incidents of catcalling. I was shocked to hear and see that a very common thing men say to random women, women they literally do not know, is to smile. smile. That's not good. Smile. Huh? Before we move on to other creepy behaviors of men, I think it is important to find out two things. Why do men catcall? Right, and I think if women will be really frank with themselves, mostly they do certain things just for guys to notice and call them, really. And I dress to look good for myself, not for anyone or for somebody to call me, no. Like yeah. if you see a basketball well, player that's... and he's known as a basketball <laughs> player, when you see him, you'll be like, yo, let's go play ball. That's not the and... same thing as Harris. Y'all know it's, that. Well, it's, I'm just saying the comfortability that some people find in wanting to touch or grope you or feel like, yo, I, let me just... Let me tell you something. It's just like it's if the I... energy that's if... being sent out there that, that creates that type of response. No, it doesn't because I'm going to tell you why. Mm. If I'm laying down with a man butt naked and the, his condom is on... And I say, you know what? No, I don't want to do this. I changed my mind. Okay. That means no. Right. That means <laughs> no. That's it. It doesn't matter how far I take it or what I have on. No, when I wasn't I say saying. No, I, it means no. I wasn't saying. I've heard a quote like, you know, dress how you want to be addressed, and it just has some validity to that. Oh, boo. Okay. No, that's not realistic. Stop it. Okay. If I want to wear a short skirt or a tank top and I'm at the club and I'm having fun with my friends and I feel sexy, I'm not DTF. I'm not, I'm not even looking at you. I don't even want to have sex with you. I'm not, I didn't come here to have sex. Okay. I didn't come here to hook up with nobody. I came out here with my girls and I just feel pretty. Okay. I'm not asking for nothing. Okay. And I'm not mad at y'all because that's how society raised all of us. And how will men feel if they were on the other side? Damn, you must work at Subway because I can see your foot long. What? That's very rude, I'm sorry. In many parts of Africa, when Cat Colin takes high moral grounds, yeah, this time, you. you know, not be mad at the day, but how this is one of the two. You know, you know, you know you. Me at me. I mean, who shall be the victim? Who shall be? Now you know, maybe you. you they do it. I don't punish you. Maybe you they do it. I don't look now. How this is not make sense. So now just they dress anyhow. They walk up, dress fine. Yeah, I guess you went off fine, don't fine. Men grab, they strip, harass. And for some, they rape simply because it is immoral to wear short shorts. Ironic? What about an Anglican priest who thinks it is okay to kiss female students against their will? The normalization of sexual harassment and abuse under the guise of power, religion, and sexism is disgusting. And we all need to rise against it, no matter our gender. But I want to use this opportunity to say that this is not the true representation of whom a man is. A man is someone that respects himself enough not to abuse another woman, not to disrespect another human being, um, not for any reason in the world, based on their gender, based on where they're coming from, their beliefs or anything like that. 
A true man is someone who respects himself enough to treat people also the way he'd want to be treated. But if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, we would like to hear from you and what you think in the comment section and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see more from us and also in the description box you can join the voice community and also interact with us better with other links that we have in that description box as well so until next time keep being the voice for the voiceless bye bye